My name is Saren Sohi, University of Edinburgh, School of Geosciences. In the UK each year we produce a lot of waste material and 1.4 million tonnes of that is in the form of uh, very uh, common organic waste material produced in the process of wastewater treatment, sewage sludge. This is a rather uh, pungent, rather unpleasant handle material that does have some fertiliser value when applied to soil and used to promote crop growth because it contains some residual nutrients including phosphorus, a form of phosphate, which is, as we know, uh, a, a, almost a finite resource and a potential challenge in the future. The ability to recycle phosphorus is very important. But if you apply sewage sludge to the land directly, there are also risks from those nutrients in the form of rainfall promoting the loss and transfer of this uh, material to uh, watercourses and causing contamination and pollution. So we are looking at ways of converting sewage sludge into something that is more controllable and more valuable as an agricultural input in the form of biochar. Now biochar is a specially designed charcoal that is created in the process of pyrolysis. So in front of me is a pyrolysis unit, a machine that can convert organic materials into biochar, a specially formed uh, charcoal that can be made from any organic materials, but if it's created from a waste material, there's a potential to add a lot of value. It has special properties in terms of how it holds on and retains nutrients in a way that prevents them getting washed out of the soil, but at the same time enables roots, so crops, to acquire those nutrients and make use of them in their growth. The other thing about biochar is that it stores carbon. So the carbon that is present in all organic material that is added to the soil fresh will gradually degrade and return to the atmosphere as CO2. But as biochar, that carbon is completely stable and will remain in the soil for a very, very long time, hundreds or thousands of years. It is therefore a sink for carbon. The precise nature of biochar and its release properties when it comes to nutrients are determined partly by what goes in, but also what we mix in to the feed material, the uh, feed stock, in this case sewage sludge. And that then can be used to modify the performance of the product in the soil. And this is our current focus for pyrolysis and biochar research. The um, other product of pyrolysis, this comes out of this machine, is energy in the form of gases and oils. And that's very important because the need to drive off the water and create something that's much more appealing to handle in the form of this charcoal, it requires some energy. And the idea is that the energy that comes out of the pyrolysis process is sufficient to undertake that drying. So as well as um, creating stable carbon in the fertilizer product, it's in a dry, handleable form, and the energy is provided from the system itself. So our vision for the future is that this type of technology will be installed at sewage treatment works around the UK, converting what are low value waste materials or waste resources into higher value products that can be used to enhance agriculture and the environment. And in this way, contribute beneficially to two key industries that we have. If you'd like to know more about this technology and other commercialization opportunities, the University of Edinburgh, please contact Edinburgh Research and Innovation.